Hello. Uh, I wanted to quickly run through one thing I did in my July toy box video, which is a little bit more advanced than just uh, running the library that comes with it, namely the um, thunder effect that I had in the background for the castle segment. Uh, here's a clip of what that looked like. And I have here uh, just a segment from the end of the toy box video because it's like the last one I had um, in the level. Uh, I always just refurbish the same section for the different clips. So there's, those don't really live very long. But I also have uh, Luna.Lua here. And I'm also going to go into my folder and open the silhouette shader Lua file. And now that we have it loaded, uh, we can take a look at what we have. We have low priority, priority, uh, color. Uh, we can all leave this the same because it's basically what we need already. Uh, then we want a on, on tick function because we want to check for something every frame. Uh, namely, we want to check if uh, do not time dot tick if the current frame. Uh, is a specific number so that we have like a timer on which stuff happens. We want like the thunder effect to happen every so often. Uh, lunar time dot tick modulo uh, every 320 frames, which is about five seconds. Uh, is uh, 65, so we have like a uh, one second wind up, and then every four seconds afterward, every five seconds afterwards, it happens. Uh, next, I'm going to also load Eventu. Uh, Eventu is basically just coroutines, if you're not familiar with it. Um, it can be really handy in some circumstances uh, for like running a different thread in the background. And uh, in this case, it just m makes the code more simple to understand. You can also use a timer for this. Um, and one thing you really have to watch out for with Eventu is like special edge cases, like um, when you have uh, the post state, or if something happens that should interrupt an event to a uh, coroutine, which um, it can like get messy if you don't handle that properly. But in this uh, scenario, there shouldn't really be much of an issue with that because we are doing something very simple. Local function uh, lightning. So we make a lightning function, and uh, in the event to sense. Uh, we will run it through with Eventu uh, whenever this happens. So uh, in the lightning function, we basically like simulate the lightning. So we want to uh, play the sound effect, the th thunder or fireworks sound effect, which is ID 43. I just know that. Um, and uh, then we want to like make a flash and uh, slowly let the flash fall off again, basically. So uh, in the silhouette shader, uh, we have the color var variable, which is uh, just color black right now, and we can change the alpha value of that. So if we change the alpha to zero, then uh, the black overlay doesn't exist really. Uh, we can wait a few frames, like a second or so, and then we can say uh, for uh, for a hundred frames long, we wait one frame, and uh, in the silhouette, we um, basically gradually uh, move that back to uh, back to one. So now that we um, move it back slowly, when we uh, start this. We should notice that we have the silhouette and we have like this flash effect, just like in the video. Really simple stuff, actually. Um, now, I also had a background flash, uh, which uh, takes a little bit more work. Uh, I have just a, a parallax file for the background. Uh, background 223 is the wrong one, that's the tank one. Uh, with a fill color alpha white, which is just a transparent white. Uh, this is background 49, the, the hills, so I'm just going to rename this. And uh, now we have this alpha white, so we want to load uh, Parallax 2. And uh, in Parallax 2 we can, um, we can make a function on start. And we can get the um, Parallax value for the current section. So 
we have the parallax section, which is parallax to dot get player section. You will have to watch out because this will be nil uh, in sections where there is no parallax. So what we can do is we can just say uh, if parallax section exists, then uh, we do the thunder. So this will only happen in uh, sections in which uh, an actual uh, thunder exists. And if we want to like refresh this, we can do this in uh, on load section rather than on start. So now we can do it between sections and it will work out just like that. It will even carry over with the timer, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but I don't think it's actually going to uh, do the effect properly. I don't know. Um, so. Now that we have the parallax section, we can do parallax section dot fill color dot alpha is one, and we do the exact opposite to what we did before. Uh, we do parallax section dot fill parallax section dot fill color dot alpha minus zero point zero one, and now we have the effect. You can see that the background is now completely white, which is like not what you saw in the video. Uh, I actually had uh, 0 0.75 in this, and uh, so that like you can still see a bit of the background uh, behind the thunder, and uh, you can see it just like goes back to normal a little bit before the foreground does. Kind of a neat effect that just comes circumstantial of uh, what we did. But yeah, a really really simple code, uh, just like moving two values for color alpha, and uh, that's about it. Uh, if you are um, crazy, uh, you can also use uh, the silhouette shader for other stuff, of course. For example, shader silhouette uh, color is color dot green. Uh, if you want, you can green screen your entire scene for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't know what what you want to use this for, but, uh, go nuts. So yeah, um, I, I kind of anticipated that many people would ask how this uh, thunder effect was accomplished, and uh, since it's a really simple code, I just shared. Uh, thanks for watching. Have fun.